Hi, Zeus here. Today, global number three populated on my map, not once but twice. And I want to show you how I use Tiny Shark to beat him both times. So a high level player just populated on my map. Let's see, check it out who it is. Uh, looks like it's global number three. Yep, he's got uh, eight booster dice and an 88,000 health grappler. And normally I'd be uh, using either Flood the Zone or uh, Direct Hit on this uh, guy, but I've got Tiny Shock, so it's going to be a lot easier. And in fact, I'm going to go uh, with only a partial boost. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to boost four of my offensive statues only. And I think I can take this guy with just the four statues. So let's go. So, you know, one of the things about this base, he's got a lot of boom mines on, on the beach here. And so I'm placing my uh, my my uh, troops very precisely, and I throw down some uh, critter boxes very precisely to make sure that my my troops don't walk on the boom mines. Now I'm gonna shock the grappler in the far back, and I'm gonna start throwing down shocks one on the far right boom cannon, one on the far left boom cannon, because those tend to snipe your Scorchers out of existence. Ooh, already lost one. And uh, throw down uh, shock on that laser. We lost the second scorcher. And we're going to throw down uh, shock in the middle there to try to slow down the uh, pace of our scorchers dying there. <laughs> already lost three. And we're going to do some second wind, bring back uh, one Scorcher and a couple of the Bombardiers that we lost. Four Scorchers. Five Scorchers. Getting a little light on uh, Scorchers here. Um, and our Kavan died. That's not so good. But, uh, you know, we've almost beat the, the front line of the base here at this point. And... Um, the grappler now is free of the tiny shock and is starting to grab our troops. So, uh, this is not so great at the moment. Feeling a little nervous about this. So let's throw down a critter box to distract the, the grappler so it doesn't grab all of our bombardiers. And that rocket launcher, oh, all right, we got the we got it. Just barely pulled that one off. Again, it, it was uh, more of a challenge because of the light boost, but tiny shock is really powerful, as you can see. If you can shock some of the boom cannons on the path, you're going to do very well. All right, cool. Global number three goes down, and with that. Um, victory i am uh still number four in my red hot legends task force on the main leaderboard i'm number 125 in the world many hours later so about 20 hours later guess who populates on my on my map again it's uh global number three again uh i, I gotta tell you he's probably pretty tired of seeing me in his uh uh life log by now uh, so again uh, this is uh, eight boosted ice base and uh, there's a 88,000 health grappler and we're gonna uh, we're gonna land here throw down some critter boxes this time I'm gonna throw uh, one critter box a little bit further to the left there and a, and a third one because uh, I did lose a couple of bombardiers the first time around on that uh, oops <laughs> Lost one bombardier there. I was trying to save him with uh, one shell. Anyway, I'm throwing down my uh, shock on the far right, the far left, and uh, the laser. 
and uh, things are going pretty well. So we're grinding through his, his base pretty well. We had another shock on the uh, boom cannon to the right of the core. And we've pretty much beaten everything that's going to kill our scorchers. Now the grappler is active. It's grabbing our, our scorchers here. Now, the problem is that we threw down that third box of critters, so we don't have the gunboat energy to throw down the box of critters to distract the grappler. So we're going to flare to get that rocket launcher. And, um, and we're going to flare to get the grappler because we're almost out of energy and the core goes down. So I was, I was trying to go for the, uh, the victory lap there, but the core died. Almost had beaten the entire base. All right, cool. So again, tiny shock, very useful. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give us a like on this video, and thanks as always to Hercules for help with the video editing.